the All Blacks have landed. Most of the squad arrived shortly after 11 a.m., ready to get to work ahead of Saturday's Bledisloe encounter. Fans young and old turned up to greet the team with Kings and Queens High School Kapahaka groups performing. With a big crowd in attendance, the boys were quite overwhelmed at the level of support. Yeah, no, very excited. Uh, pretty awesome welcome uh, you know, this morning. So it's great to be down here in Dunedin. You know, haven't had a test match here all year, so uh, you know, it's a great stadium. And you know, the boys are looking forward to having the week down here and, and uh, playing a, a big test match on, on Saturday. The All Blacks have already secured the Bledisloe Cup this season, as well as the Rugby Championship. Despite effectively being a dead rubber, the team is eager to end the season on a high and remain undefeated. Yeah, we're, we're against our you know, arch rivals, the you know, the Wallabies, and you know one of the uh, the teams you, you don't want to lose to. So it's uh, you know you know the Bledisloe is not riding on the on this game. We've secured that uh, luckily, but there's still. Uh, this game's still important, you know, to the All Blacks and, you know, making sure that we, uh, we win this game. The match will be played under the roof at Forsyth Bar Stadium with a sellout crowd expected. Sports fans will be well entertained with the ITM Cup semi-final between Otago and Hawke's Bay on Sunday afternoon, also at the stadium. All Black and Hawke's Bay player Israel Dagg is hopeful to stick around an extra day and cheer on his teammates. Yeah, I'm going to give up my bed on Saturday night. I think they haven't got any accommodation, so uh, yeah, I'll, I'll hopefully stick around. We'll see how, see how it all goes, but hopefully the boys get up. The team will stay in Dunedin leading up to the match, with Australia choosing to camp in Queenstown until Friday. With a strong squad assembled, the All Blacks will be looking to sign off on the season with another win. John McKenzie, 39, Dunedin News.